Hi, I'm Fran Strawn and on the couch with me today is Professor Ross Harley from the College of Fine Arts in Sydney. Now Ross, you're an academic and a video artist. That's right. What do you find so engaging about video? Well, I think video is a really contemporary form that allows us to um, deal with the image and with sound in a really interesting way. Um, Video is all around us. We see it on television, we see it on DVDs, and I suppose more and more um, in the movies. And so I'm really interested in how you might think about that as an artistic form of, it, of expression or as a way to make work in a way that might not be quite like the sort of things that we see on television. Um, so video is a, a form of expression that artists can use in galleries and museums these days in the same way that um, artists might use uh, painting or photography or uh, they might engage in sculpture. So I'm really interested in the way that video works as an art form, I mm -hmm. suppose. So you teach digital art at COFA? Yeah, so electronic media arts is what we would call it. So how do you transfer these sorts of ideas to your teaching or how do you experiment with those sorts of mediums? Well, a lot of it comes from your own practice as an artist and one of the things you have to do as, uh, as a practitioner is to stay engaged with the, um, you know, the big questions of our time and with the changes in the way that people think about making work. And so if that's what you need to do as a, as a professional, as a um, practicing artist, then that's what you tend to bring into your teaching and you take into the classroom with you. Uh, that experience of working, making your own um, projects tends to rub off into your, uh, your, your teaching and into the classroom. So a lot of what I do as an artist, working with video cameras and computers and, and new forms of technology, finds its way uh, into the courses and into the programs that we, we run. So a lot of teachers um, build upon their experience as practitioners and they build upon their experience as researchers uh, in the field and they put that into the into the classroom and it's the same in the field of media arts or, or digital media um, as it is um, anywhere else in the in the fields of um, uh, university research and, and teaching. Fantastic and I know you've got strong thoughts on the power of new media. I do. <laughs> what, what do you think the future of new media is and how much longer will we be calling it new? Well, that's always one of the problems when we think about um, the term new media. Of course, yesterday's media is, um, uh, you know, today's old media. And new media is a term that I suppose has lots of different meanings. But for, for me, it's about trying to come to terms with um, the possibilities of, of new forms of technology. So there are many in the digital world and they keep um, unfolding before our, our eyes. And we see um, new forms of um, possibility for working with other people at a distance, uh, using the web and using um, dynamic databases, um, using forms of uh, telecommunication um, and using um, uh, a lot of the technology that we see in, in home-based entertainment systems, in the gaming industry and so on. I think all of that is starting to change the way in which we make media and the way in which we consume it, the way in which we participate in it. So one of the big changes for me is this thing that we might call participatory media. So we don't consume media without putting something back into it. So the whole phenomena of, of YouTube and of blogging and of um, people going out with, with uh, high definition camcorders and making their own movies has really changed the way that we think about the industry. Um, it's no longer something that only you know, the professionals do. Um, people um, who might be prosumers is a, uh, is a term that people often use, um, half consumer, half professional, um, mix and match the way in which they might um, view work but also make work. So that the line between the producer and the consumer has really mm. changed. That's a big change. And so your students would be prosumers, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think a lot of students who certainly in the undergraduate degree, they're completely swimming in a, a new media world. And so they're, um, you know, conversant with all kinds of computer games and mobile media and um, you know Facebook and all of the you know the branded names that we m might know about that's sort of very much part of everyday life and so I'm interested in how in, in a classroom or in a learning experience or in a research we can mobilize those things and bring that into the classroom and that's where I think there are lots of really exciting possibilities.